And we're recording. So, hi everybody, welcome to a new community meeting. Today it's Monday, the 3rd of November, so we're already in November. Yay! Only <laughs> two more months to go, it'll be a new year. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Uh, I have posted the user pad in Pounsumo and also on the video chat. Um, so we, we can just go through it. Uh, today is going to be mostly updates because we don't have any uh, particular items on the round table. So we will do the usual um, updates that we used to do before. So let's see. There are no previous action, action items for today, so we'll just start with Sumo Dev Update, if we have anybody here today. Ricky or Kadir? Okay, nobody today? I think Kadir was, uh, was saying that he's having issues with video. Oh. No, Kadir, Kadir is traveling. I love video. Yeah. So, uh, Where's Kadir going? Okay. He is actually coming to Berlin. Oh, so that's fine. Okay, uh, then we can skip. That's a lot there. of disappointment in your voice, Roland. I was hoping kind of Vancouver. Like I can't believe Michael Burdick came here and I wasn't here last week. It's so disappointing. <laughs> it's not Michael's fault. Nobody's fault. Okay, so there are some up updates that they posted um, there. So if anybody is having problems receiving Sumo email notifications. Uh, there's a bug there that you might want to check out. Okay, cool. Uh, then let's move on to Firefox Desktop. Uh, I see Tyler is online, so you have. Yeah, um, so we finally made a dent in the OMTC black screen issues. Uh, we released a 3301 to fix most of those. And then we released a 3302 to fix a startup crash. Um, we're still seeing a few users reporting that they're having some black screens uh, when they start Firefox up. Um, if anybody sees those, especially with specific driver or device configurations, please let me know. Um, but the workaround is still to update your graphics drivers, if, if at all possible, um, or to disable OMTC, although that brings other issues into the picture. Um, Firefox 3302 is unthrottled at 50%. We'll probably go to 100% full updates later this week. Um, barring any other issues, we will have more fixes coming in a future release uh, down the line. Um, but this is about all we're going to be able to get into chem spills for now. Uh, we're reaching into this territory that the fixes are too uh, risky to put into a chem spill right now. Um, and then big thanks to the community for helping out during releases. It's really hard for the user advocacy team when we have one or more in, the, in this release we had at least two large fires that we were trying to put out at the same time. Uh, so it's hard to put those out and still be able to find the smaller issues that aren't affecting as many people but are still as bad. Um, and so for the community to step up and uh, report those to us is a big help. So thanks everybody and keep that up. Yes, that's great. Thank you so much for participating in making Firefox desktop better. So that's awesome. Any questions for, for Tyler? Okay. Uh, if there are no more questions, then I can we can move on to Firefox OS. Remina or Ralph, whoever is on. Yes. I don't see Ralph, so I think I will take it for uh, for this week. Uh, there's uh, there there's an update uh, we put there on the Firefox OS uh, Flame device. It seems that we have an issue. Uh, we are seeing an issue on uh, 2.0, 2.1, and 2.2 with um, uh, with audio. So uh, there's no uh, no sound and no microphone affecting multiple apps in the phone. Um, engineers are currently working uh, on on it. So hopefully they will get to a solution quick. Um, also, um, an update from me and Rachel. Uh, we started working on a, on a plan to have a, a portal for uh, for partners uh, where they can find all uh, all necessary information and they can escalate things to us directly from their uh, from their profile. Uh, we are also working with uh, with channel marketing. Uh, as they are uh, currently building a, a website where they want to integrate all uh, necessary information about Firefox OS for partners. 
So um, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll be able to come with more updates soon. Um, a third thing, a third update will be on Body Up. So uh, Kadir is uh, traveling to Berlin to meet with me. I'm traveling tomorrow. Um, we are actively uh, developing phase one, which we hope to be finished uh, by uh, mid-January, the latest. Actually, not hope. This is uh, this is a, the milestone. So uh, we are going to have it finished by mid-January and then start working on phase two. Um, back end, so Ricky and uh, and Mike are uh, ahead of plan, uh, while at least on the front end side because we had some issues with front end developers getting somebody on board. We are uh, we are two weeks late, so that's why we finish by January and not by December, as initially initially scheduled. Uh, and we are also investigating phase two with WebRTC and screen sharing uh, because you, I, you, you're probably aware that 2.2 timelines are uh, are modified by a lot, so we have to deliver sooner than uh, than expected. Um, so that's uh, that's it from from me on the topics. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Hermina. Uh, very exciting news. Any? Questions for Hermina? Everybody's so excited about Body Up and Firefox OS. I know I am. I am. <laughs> Great progress. There you go. Yay. Progress. Cool. All right. Uh, then, if there are no questions, I'll move on to Roland, Firefox 400, and Thunderbird. You're on. Oh, I don't have anything as exciting as Body Up. <laughs> Uh, I did go to, to a with Madalena to a fantastic community conference last week called Fear Review Sprint. And since I can't read, oh yes, I did link to it. Uh, I'm having trouble with my glasses, wrong glasses today. And um, I have some rough notes in there, but one of the things I want to do is create a subgroup for uh, the core contributors in Android and in any other new products we have. So stay tuned for that. I've been talking about this for a long time. I'm actually going to do it now that I have the conference. I don't have any uh, um, Android Android updates this week. And for Thunderbird, uh, so I was told that if you create a new Gmail account, it won't work with Thunderbird. But then I was told by uh, Axel G in Ireland, who's German, that he could create a new Gmail account and it does work with Thunderbird. So what's going on? I don't know. Maybe it's country specific. So if anyone in South Asia or Asia. Uh, would do two things, like create a new Gmail account and then, or create a new G, create a new Google account, then create a new Gmail account with the new Google account, and then try Thunderbird and let me know if it works out of the box without doing anything. That would be great. I, of course, will try it, but, you know, I'm in the crazy kingdom of Canada, so we might have special rules. That's it. Questions? Questions? Yay, no questions. questions. No questions. It's raining in Vancouver. Does that answer your question? <laughs> so, Roland, thanks for posting the notes from the, um, from the conference. I have taken all my notes on paper because that's what I like to do because I want to not forget how to write because um, after like all the typing, I kind of forget. Uh, so I will also um, consolidate everything in either pad and share it with everybody because we have had some very interesting conversations and very interesting ideas. So yeah, we, uh, I was particularly impressed by uh, what was it, Madalena? It was well, of course. It, the cool thing is the women. There was the uh, Rachel from Community Roundtable. Mm. Katie Colby from I guess Satisfaction when you can get Satisfaction and from um, Fever B and then there was another and Wikipedia which was awesome Wikipedia yeah anyhow looking forward to your notes you're gonna post them here right <coughs> yep in a week okay, or so cool. great um, Thank you. Uh, moving on then to community. Um, just a reminder that the Buddy IRC meetings are now happening on Wednesdays. So they used to happen on Fridays, but we had a vote. Um, and apparently Wednesdays are a better day for these meetings. So if you want to join us um, Wednesdays, you have the, the, the time, I think, on the um, uh, wiki page of the Buddy program. So please do please do join if you're interested, or let me know, or 
let me all know if you want to join this program, which is pretty cool. And yes, thank you to, to Robert for his persistent messaging. So if you're receiving any reminders about the product, uh, the buddy program, that's Robert. Hello. <laughs> Who's our note taker uh, and our reminder. Cool, all right, I'll move on um, to knowledge base. Johnny, uh, wanna oh yeah. So, yeah, so uh, nothing really uh, exciting here, just uh, we have a new article um, that we need to localize by November 10th. And also I've put in a link to the forum, uh, my forum post with a list of Firefox OS articles for localization. And I noticed that a lot of you have already localized these articles, so uh, thanks, uh, you're awesome. Um, and if you haven't, uh, please jump right in. All right, thank you, Johnny. Any questions? Okay, no questions. I'll move on. Um, Eltonen, there's a read only because Michal is not here today. He's traveling. He has some pretty cool updates from MOSFEST. I hope that he will share with us next time. Uh, so I'll just uh, move on to the sport forum. And there's a new sumo day happening this Thursday. Yay. So we're this Thursday, we'll gather together on Pound Sumo as usual, usual, and we'll try to answer every incoming questions that we have on the forums. Concentrating, of course, on Firefox Desktop, Firefox OS, and Android. So please join us, answer questions, and let's try to reach that 100% answer rate yes, on please. Thursday. And there will be more updates on the blog and the forums as usual. And if you have any questions, let me know. Cool. Uh, moving on. We have no decisions and action items for today, but we do need your help. So please, um, if you want to participate, let us know. So we have an updated uh, Sumo logo proposal coming soon. So. I hope everyone will vote um, whether they like it or not and submit their own ideas. So what we're trying to do is to have a Sumo logo that we can use for all kinds of stuff like from t-shirts to, I don't know, flyers or whatever. Um, but that will be our brand, to be like a Sumo brand. Uh, so yeah, we, have, uh, we hope everybody can vote on it and tell us if it's good or not or what we can do with it. Uh, and yeah, if you can share your, our blog and Twitter URL with fellow Mozillians, um, please do. That would be awesome because we want to um, spread the word about Sumo as much as we can and we now also have a Twitter account. Um, and also if you want anything, to, uh, if you have anything that you want to share on the blog, on the Twitter or anywhere else, please, let's, uh, please let us know. We want to use these channels as much as possible. So if you have like a really cool story about your community or something amazing that you have achieved, let us know. You can write about it and we can publish it, no problem. And I guess that's it for today. So that means sure if, sorry? Yeah, sure, sure meeting. meetings. <laughs> sure meeting because we didn't have a round table item for today. But that's fine, no worries, there will be more. Um, so that means if you are traveling or you're not available this week, please write down in either pad so people know. Otherwise, I guess that's it. Um, have a great week and see you online. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Bye, everyone. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.